as you know I've been doing some mods to the uh, to the Spitfire um, the mod that I want to do here is just a very very small mod uh, so what I want to do is actually do it as part of the build um, and what I want to do is I just want to add a little bit of realism to this air intake uh, with regards to the color um, so what you will need is the part that you made I believe it was the previous issue uh, some gloss black that's flat black sorry flat black flat black is fine sorry flat black is what you need and you need some aluminium uh, you'll need a paintbrush and you'll need some kitchen roll um, so what I'm going to do is very carefully uh, if you remember it said to glue these in but I said that I was just going to push fit them because I wanted to do some changes um, and what I'm going to do is first of all I'm going to get my black and I'm going to take just the outside piece will be fine um, and then on the outside what we're going to do is just paint over that give it a nice coverage if you don't want to get paint on your hands just use uh, tweezers to hold them as you see I'm getting plenty of paint on my hand just make sure that's well covered but not too much paint don't know if you noticed but it was getting a bit gloopy in places um, you don't need to paint the back but if you'd want to paint the back as well that's absolutely fine and I'm going to place that one there and I'm just going to paint the other one okay so once that's dry you need to take uh, a silver paint I'm using aluminium here from Tamiya um, it can be any silver paint you want and what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of silver on our brush and this is very similar to the dry brushing technique that I've done in, in other videos except that we're not going to make the paint totally dry the brush sorry going to leave it quite fairly heavy but not as much as you'd put on if you were actually painting and what we're going to do is we're just going to catch these edges do you know what I don't think that's uh, mixed let me give that another shake these new bottles you get they sometimes they set quite badly on the bottom And this is quite a watery paint. It's better. Right. So, getting most of it off the brush. You see there that's quite a low coverage. And we're just going to hit the, the edges. And then we're going to hit it up and down. make sure it's fairly even but it doesn't have to be really really even and there we can see we've just added a bit more a bit more realism a bit more interest and then once that's done that can go back in and again it's all about subtle subtle improvements nothing major just slight changes slight improvements so I'm just going to rush, run my brush up there so if you can see the difference between how I painted the black on and how I painted the silver what this will do is it will kind of weather it for you so I'm I'm rather happy with that And there we go. 
just looks a little bit better. There we go. So we'll get on with the build. For those who fought in the Battle of Britain, it was a battle for survival. For the free world, it was a breathless moment in history. For failure would have plunged mankind into a new dark age. Never have so many owed so much to so few. Okay, so this is um, stage 33, uh, and these are the parts that we've received. Uh, and we have just the two parts this week, 33-1, which is this beautiful wing. I know I said beautiful on the last wing, but this one is equally, look at the detail on that, that is absolutely smashing. Nothing amazing on the inside, but you can see there's various channels for, for various things. And then we have six uh, two by three millimeter PB screws, of which one is spare, so we only need five by the looks of it apologies for the uh, uh, for the lack of focus so um, what we need then from this week is we need the parts that we made in a previous issue which is here so let me just just get them out of the box I've been keeping them in the box and on on paper and you can see that we've done last week's wing or sorry not last week's the previous week um, let me just get some more bubble wrap so try to protect this as much as you can and what we're going to be doing is placing this wing onto here like so managed to get it the wrong way around and just make sure I've got it in focus and enough of it on the screen and what we're going to be doing is screwing this in with these screws which I'll just pop onto the table and not a massive amount to do this week now one thing that's a bit of an area for concern I think I mentioned this last time because of the shape of this wing if you push down it's going to push the other side up so you're going to run the risk of maybe doing damage in the middle. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get any object I can find. Um, I'm using a, a, a tape dispenser and I'm just going to pop a little bit of bubble wrap on there and I'm just going to pop, pop that up just to support the wing while we, while we pop the screws in. So with the wing in place, it's, you see there for me it's moved. So these channels, the, the actual framework fits really neatly into those. So let me show you, look at that. That's almost made to measure, isn't it? So what we need now then is our screwdriver and we're looking for five screws, uh, which are, let me show you on the wing, it'll be easier. Um, they've actually got this the other way round while they're working on it so shall we turn it round so it looks like the magazine my apologies so we are looking for five screw holes we've got one there two three four and five and we'll watch where they line up and I can see straight away one, two, three, four, and the last one is there. So what we'll do is I'll pop the uh, the outer one on first because I think that's the most difficult one to spot. In fact, it's there. That's how difficult it is to spot. So we'll pop that outer one on first. And I'm only going to pop this on just enough to bite. I'm not going to. I'm not going to screw it in fully. As you see, it's a little bit of trouble. Um, you'll have to forgive my hands. I've just been painting. Uh, right. So that one's on just a little bit. But now the wing is is a held. Is held on. Then we'll I'll pop 
this one on look at that now there has been complaints that these screws are a tiny bit short so be very careful um, but also remember these are p screws so they're plastic screws um, so it's it's screws going into plastic so we never need to over tighten them anyway and I can't get this one to go in oh dear oh right there we go so that one's on just enough to bite and I have also found a lot of these part works they do give you more than the minimum amount of screws to be fair here you probably could get away with three um, but they've given you five so that that wing is in place so what we're going to do now to finish the screws off let's start with the end one we're just going to use the weight of the screwdriver and we're going to turn that gently and there once the resistance change that's that's in enough this one that only needed about a quarter of a turn there and then these two final two there that's in do not over tighten these especially with these screws they probably could do with being an extra millimeter in length and then what we'll do is we'll just pull that gently and I can see yes that's in fine there's no wobble on it the only but the only wobbly bit is this end bit but that's where there's no support um, but that will all get supported in at the end and then there's the wing in place so it's getting big now isn't it so the next stage we need to take uh, a couple of parts that we made in a previous issue issue 32 and if you can bear with me a sec guys there we go this is um, piece 32 one and I can't get my drawer back in place uh, so this is the pipe 32 one and I've taped this up so well I can't actually undo it there we go and you can see it's a very tiny part you may possibly need tweezers so if we turn this over we need to be placing this there's a little keyhole notch there and this has got a shaped bottom so we can't put it in the wrong way and that's just going to go into there like that I've just lost grip on it I do apologize there we go and that's actually not going to stay in and I've dropped it and there it is uh, so it does say to apply a little super glue which I think in this particular case is an extremely wise move so let me find I'm going to use my good super glue on this and you won't need a lot um, because if you if you apply too much glue you're just going to have a glue mark so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to squeeze the glue until just a tiny bit comes out the nozzle can you see there just just a little tiny bubble on the top and I'm just going to touch that end very gently you could use the cocktail stick method on this um, but for one tiny dab of glue is it worth it right so also note I've got this exactly 90 degrees it is straight down and I think I'm happy with that so we'll give it a little tug lovely that's gone in perfect so really really happy but obviously be careful because now we have a part that can be easily knocked off okay so let's have a look at the uh, the next stage just pop my glue away so we are now up to stage five uh, which is to take this piece from uh, a previous issue now I haven't glued it as you see I've done the little mod nothing major um, but I've done I've done the mod uh, and I haven't glued it I just want to see how it's gonna fit so uh, there's only two ways that it can fit I don't even know if it's two ways so we can place it in like so 
or we can place it in like so and let me just have a double check so take the radiator housing from issue 32 identify the two pegs on the open face check the fit of the pegs in the recesses on the underside of the right wing 33 1 okay so it looks like they want right so you know there's a flap here and there isn't a flap there that looks like they want the flap uh, away from the peg so it's actually going to be the flap is going to be towards the rear of the plane um, and it just says when you're happy with the fit glue in place so let's have a look at that as a push fit connection Hmm, the fit is not perfect for me. Actually, it's not too bad. It's, it's okay, it's okay. But I think what I would be tempted to do there is I would actually glue that and then I would place a clamp on it. So let's see if I've got a clamp. So push that into place, place a clamp on. Yeah, you see, that's a much better fit. So, um, but I, I'm going to keep that as a push fit connection at the moment. The reason for that is I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with this underwing or the inside of this. Um, so I'm going to just pretend for the sake of the uh, videos, I'm going to pretend that I've glued that on. Um, and if I do a modification at a later stage, you'll be the first to see it. So there is this week's issue. So now we don't need to panic so much about that pipe. Um, because as you can see that's well protected uh, we've got we've got an extra wing on which is looking fantastic we've got that lovely little radiator air, air intake um, with a little movable flap so it's really coming along guys um, so really really happy with this but as I do as often as I can I'm going to pop my wings back into the bubble wrap um, you don't need to do this if you're a subscriber and you've got four issues come at once uh, obviously you'll be keen to get on with the next issue um, and we've got a lovely little surprise for you in the next issue um, so we will no longer be throwing this on the shelf and worrying about the state of it so there you go guys that's issue 33 um, I hope that's been quite informative and helpful and uh, Hopefully I will see you in the next issue. Take care guys. Bye bye.